Get us up, right? Yeah. <laughs> you got to take the you cover. Yeah. Either that or, well, no, no memory card. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Focusing and I'm yawning. You get all my teeth, my Doesn't crowns. Very much, but it's <laughs> close photos of, of my crowns I back there. Objection. Uh, one other thing, we probably should put the uh, June tenth yeah. meeting minutes yeah. on there. Yeah, up at the top. Okay. On when top. we get to the approval of the minutes, I'll. Okay. No, yeah. oh, we need to add it to the agenda up on top. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Any other changes or additions? Hearing none. Do I have a So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Second. Wayne, are you vote? I'll vote aye. Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Marvin? Aye. Uh, minutes of the June 2nd meeting. Motion to approve. I'll move to approve. Uh, second. I'll I'll second. Aye. Marvin? Aye. Liza? Aye. Wayne? How about I? Jean, aye. Don, the June meet approve. Uh, ah, do I have a motion to approve the minutes of the June 10th special commission meeting? I so move. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Marvin, I vote. Aye. Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Wayne? How about I? Jean, aye. The bills. Oh, I can't count it this half. That must be the bill we in the box. Okay. That's helpful, right? <laughs> Look, it says W, okay. so it's got to be the bottom one. It's 
amazing that the overhead projector still in use to this day. <laughs> I've had so many classes in grade school and high school where it is projected over in that row. Mandy. Yeah. Possibly in the future that will be like a, a laptop. That's what I'd like to see is a laptop. So we can bring an Excel spreadsheet in here and put it up there and we can change numbers and you can see how it affects the budget. Have it live, you know. Yeah. That one might be stretching it a little bit. Because Shouldn't of the software be. because we do get get it but we we have the budget on the iPad, but if the number changes it doesn't change right there. The uh, accountant has to make the change and then he can give us the update. That's by how ours works out. On worksheets? No. You do uh, sure what you're referring to but if the auditor auditor is supposed to provide worksheets for the budget yeah and that'd be her worksheet mm -hmm. okay so she, what I was assuming is that she would be able to put her worksheet on there and if we want possibility I know where you're going with this yeah it'd be a, it'd be a live worksheet it's no not a budget or anything <clears throat> hungry prisoners <laughs> You gotta feed them, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't see too many bananas in there, but. Yeah. <laughs> We're not near it, but I don't think we can starve them. <laughs> no. No. Okay. There you go. I want to screw you up there. And once again, if you got a bill that you got a question on, pull it aside. Thank you. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> <laughs> I found it somewhere when I was going through my paper system. Oh, really? At home. And say I didn't have it. Yeah. I would almost agree with that. Maybe it was just email. I want to see. So this just fulfills item for the town yeah. 30. Yeah, it was just a copy. They, that's what they want to copy. So I just wanted to get a copy. It's just email. Better bar. Okay. You know, they do take a pretty good care of them. As for Daniel. Red Barrel Avenue, that's it. Is it uh, improper to tell stories while we're reviewing these? I was thinking of telling one, so go ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the bills there said Gun Barrel Avenue in Colorado, so it just reminded me, I was at a car show this weekend, and uh, <clears throat> one of the cars was completely modified, and the license plate said, Gun It. And it looked a little bit like a Model A, and on the side, the passenger and driver's side was a Mach 50 caliber machine gun with a belt and ammunition in it. Huh. <laughs> it's like, holy smokes. <laughs> it's not concealed. <laughs> I looked at and was that vehicle loud? It was the loudest one by a great margin. Uh, I was uh, filling up my diesel pickup this weekend. I had my boys with me and I, they were sitting there and I said, well, how many gallons do you think is going to go in this, guys? Like, 
nine year old's just like, gee, Dad, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> then he goes, 20? I said, well, I said, this tank's a 48 gallon, so it's going to be a little bit more than 20. He goes, I don't know, 42. I said, well, that's what I was thinking. And he's watching the numbers go up, and he's like, well, geez, Dad, you're at 30 some. I said, no, buddy, that's the. That's the dollars. The gallons is on the bottom. It's that smaller number. <laughs> well, how much is fuel? I said three oh nine. Yeah. Goes. So if you're gonna use over forty gallons, that's like hundred and twenty bucks, Dad. I said, yeah. Jeez, I didn't have the heart to tell him. I'm glad it's not milk. Drinking <laughs> <laughs> water in their cereal. <laughs> Or water. <laughs> yeah, water to down today. <laughs> Super skim milk. <laughs> uh, but but needless to say, the, it ticked off at 42.0 one gallon. So the 42 gallons was a good guess. Good, good better good. bought an ice cream for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we went to Dairy King after that. <laughs> but yeah, I was looking at the grocery bill here and seeing the Milk, milk. milk, that's why I was like, yeah, it's a good thing it's run on milk. Seventy Chevy pickup has been restored and uh, drove it down to Bismarck. The only reason it doesn't use more gas is the gas line is only that big. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I don't know how they ever drove those around. <laughs> gas was cheap. It was 32 cents back in those days when I was driving. I bought a 300 gallon tank full of it. You can't even, uh, I think your taxes are more than almost that much now, aren't they? On a gallon of gas? That would, oh yeah. It's like 18 something federal and 23 states or the other way around. 24. Yeah. I got 40 cents before you even take a drought. That 64 cent propane like they were getting last year. You know what? I got a call for that refill and I never sent it in. I better hurry up and do that. I use such a small amount. Of that. I wonder if Ken's going to be here. He's got road issues, I'm not sure. I don't know if he, if he doesn't have any. I didn't have a meeting with him this week, so I don't know what he put. Where did we put three ton signs? It's only like, I'd have to talk to Travis's boy, but I think that's only 6,000 pounds. <laughs> do, think? That, do you do think? The, do that math for me. No, he was real quick on it. <laughs> Barely a car. Get your big diesel pickup. You, you're going to be touching that. That's, uh, so that's what I'm wondering where we put. That would, be, that would be a old bridge, probably. My, my dad's got this dump trailer, and I was asking him what the capacity was. I said, "Is it like a seven-ton um, trailer?" And he goes, "Well, he." Each axle's 7,000 pounds rated. I'm like, it's a tandem. I'm like, okay, yeah, seven tons. 
I got to pay attention to yeah. 9:30. Okay. There's none in my yard yet, and I'm not going to buy one, but I could use it. My dad says I can use it whenever I want, and then I borrow it. Well, when are you bringing that back? <laughs> dad, I've had it for three hours because that's how long it took me to get home. This John Deere payment says due date of 6 1. Is it already paid? Or is it you just got the invoice? I Tractor or rental? Tractor. Apparently, we need to use our language interpretation system. Sometimes we do. Mm -hmm. With legalese, you do? Yep. It's one of those that's probably as far as I can go with that question. <laughs> yep. How many languages do you know, Gene? Spy. Then I can brag and say I know some Spanish too. What? Cerveza. <laughs> <laughs> cerveza. More money. Lo cuento por favor. Donde es el baño? Well, they got he brought you the beer in that little like eight ounce glass or whatever it was. So I wouldn't even say dos, I said cuatro. Because <laughs> he could only carry two at a time up to me, and by the time he brought the next two, I had the first one of them gone and a half the next one ready. Yeah. <laughs> Senor Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
I was told if you bring your own, they'll fill it. But I didn't know that. I haven't been there since. It's been about 10 years. I didn't bring my phone because I didn't want to take a chance. Is there a chance you can send me a copy of this? No. I would like to look at that when I get home. I'm trying to keep track of the siren and stuff. Oh, the E911? Yeah. That's not siren stuff. No, well, she's got siren on the front of it, and I'll just no. visit with her about it. That's so. her monthly bill. That's the monthly bill that she pays. We, have, we been paying into siren. been paying in for years? Into the state. We have to pay into the state. We have been. For the old siren or the new siren? For just a second. It's the statewide. No, it was for the implementation of this new one. Then why did we reserve 500000 for paying for this? This money goes to the state. This this check goes to Nadaco. It's a station accounting. It's our 911 payment. We've been doing this well, that's for a long time. That's it's the 911 um, revenues that we collect. 10% of it goes into the 911 re revenue siren reserve. Yeah, I would just still like to get a copy. I just want to That's part of those 911 charges that are collected? Yes. Okay. Next time I'll bring my phone in so I don't have to bother anybody for that. Someone had fun in the sewer system in the gym. <laughs> you seen that now? Yeah. Glad they didn't attach a picture with that one. Right? <laughs> Don't need to see that. Too much time sometimes, yeah. so then they stick where there's things that yeah. they just don't want to hear me. Shoe, shoe twine and cotton paper and anything they can wad up and stick in there.
Do we get patronage dividends for royalties? It's a lot bigger than the one you get at home. Yeah. Uh, Bill, where the dividends? Yeah. <laughs> both. Both. <laughs> both. They do. <laughs> okay with that. They do a good job. It was it was much larger than my uh, federal relief check that I got for I think it was twenty eight dollars or something like that. The Corona. Oh, did you know they quit checking? Mm -hmm. Check that we got for they quit checking. Whatever it was. I saw the check we got. Maybe you got some plywood or something. Yeah. Oh, you can't afford that. Yeah. A little two, two by four. Because yeah. <laughs> even the boards. Where are you getting your plywood at? <laughs> yeah. Luckily, on that building, I ordered. I built just. I ordered everything up over. Did it? Paid for it. Where did we have it? That was yeah. I need thirty. Not quite. Probably about twenty-two, eight-foot two by four. One bill in the back there. Yeah, there yeah. you go. That's not a bill. It's a refund. A refund. Or for refund, yeah. Okay. Something for you to sign anyhow. Mm -hmm. So this one covers all these? Yep. Okay, yep. she's got another one inside. I haven't been disciplined yet, so <laughs> it's early. <clears throat> okay, do I have a motion to approve the bills? I'll move to approve the bills as presented. Second? I second that. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Travis? Aye. Marvin? Aye. Liza? Aye. Wayne? Aye. Gene, aye. DACO delegate, we, I guess we need a delegate for the, the DACO meeting. I'll be there. I don't know. I've never been. Is anybody else want to do it? Is that the one in October? Mm -hmm. That's the annual meeting. Pardon? That's the annual meeting? Yeah. 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 Representative Ross Jock, is anybody else want to volunteer? I'd be interested in it, if, but unless G if Gene would rather do it, I'll be glad to. Let him do it. I just didn't know if he wanted yeah. to do it or not. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, if you had a reluctance, then I will do it. Why don't you put me as an alternate in case something comes up? Is that fair? Yep. No. Do you need a motion for that? Or? No. No. Okay. Okay. Do I any further discussion on that? I don't know if there really is any. May sheriff fees three thousand six hundred one dollar and eighty nine cents. Need a motion to approve. I'll move to approve the May Sheriff fees. Second? I'll second. Any discussion? Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Wayne? Aye. Marvin? Aye. Gene, aye. Good calling. Um, C can you do CPT pricing in two minutes? Sure. Okay. I can try. Um, I've heard back from CPT, that is the company that I had contacted. Time. Uh, $29,820. Okay. And then 
and then the monthly maintenance for 22 and 23 is 3100 a month so it comes to 37200 a year but that includes every like you ever call them or would have questions or have issues that $3,100 covers everything. Um, there's no like extra fees by the hour or anything like that. So oh, I just wanted okay. to throw that out there. Um, we can discuss it more in depth during budget okay. season. The other question I have though is do we want them to do a demo? Or does the board want to see a demo? Are you okay with just um, our departments, us four departments, well, I don't know if it's quarterly meeting so much, but the other departments, if we just schedule a Zoom demo, I guess it's probably not, I mean, we need the board's blessing to purchase it, but the board doesn't work with the, work with the software, so they're not gonna, you know, know a lot about it anyway. I want uh, a demo. We don't work with it, but I want reports off of it, and I wanna know how those reports and where they're getting their information. And also I have a question, is, is this Windows based? Uh, no, it's IBM. It's not Windows based? No, it's the same, it's the same okay. program that we, the, it's the AS400 that we have now yeah. that Pro we purchased. It's proprietary. Well, yeah, I, I suggest we wait till budget season to discuss it. I have yeah. real strong reservations on this system. Okay. Well, okay. And you were done with that? Yep. Okay. Board appointments. Oh, okay, where did I lay my, oh, right here. Okay, you guys should have all gotten your applications in your packets. Um, the only board that I did not receive applications for is the library board. Um, and Travis is up on that too, so that has to be a commission still spot. So we need all three basically then, right? Well, today we can mm -hmm. appoint a commissioner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or we can railroad Travis. Just, I, I've been to a couple of meetings, I guess. <laughs> uh, I was just kidding. I, I don't mind, don't mind it. So. so you just volunteered, okay? I just volunteered, I guess. All right. So you can good, fill that one. Very good man. <laughs> all right. Um, Such a long drive. And as far as the other two, if no one steps up, we'll just have to keep asking. Yeah. And those are at large. They don't have to be within districts. If you can find anybody that's interested within the county, it doesn't matter where they're from. And the weed board? Um, just a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were... No. Okay. Never mind. That was the... Library board, we moved down uh, Mercer County. Do we have anything on the Mercer County housing? We do. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got uh, three. And all three of the current send in applications to do it again. Yep. Right? Yep. Right. Oh, I worded that right. Okay. Uh, do we prove it all at once or in you each board? You can do it how you want, but it's probably just going to be easy to prove it all at once. Okay. You know, one motion. Uh, so there's, basically we'd say there's no objections to the people that are interested in right. redoing, pretty serving, much. serving on the board. Yeah. The Water Resource board. board. Um, John Lambsburg. What do we have there? Ooh, so we applied. We applied. Yep. Okay. I mean, if <laughs> if there's nobody else that is requesting to do it, it's kind of an easy decision. I mean, you right. want people that want to do it. Right. Um, the weed board. Um, Don Reichenberg wants off. Shannon Seiler sent us a. Application and that's by district, is it? That's by yeah. district. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and he does live in 
the that, correct districts. So. Right. Okay. Oh, for the weed board? Yeah. Yep. Okay. S C H E I D. Didn't know his term was up, but. Oh, not Richard. Which one? Sure. Siler? S A I L E R. Well, good morning. Good morning. And then we move all the way to Mercer County Policy Committee. And I'm going to refrain from making any statements or any votes <laughs> on this one. Uh, Ryan Taylor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Who's that? Oh, he's reapplying. <laughs> and I've been rumored that Kathy Johnson wants off and Gwen Bosch uh, is interested. Okay. Is, that, is that official that Kathy wants off? Or yeah, do I need to ask her? No, she didn't reapply. She didn't want to. Okay. So Kathy Johnson will be off and Gwen Bosch applied. And my old list shows, I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the last name, P-E-H-L? Pale. Okay, yeah, she's on there because I have Heather. Right, I got yourself. Yep. Okay, so. Heather's was both for Pale and yourself. And then okay. Ryan. Okay. Any comments, questions? I guess I need a motion to approve those appointments. So move. And that was Wayne, right? Yep. I suppose you want me to tell all, er, all the names, right? I got it all down. No. <laughs> I, I'll miss a couple, but I got most of them. <laughs> um, a second? I'll second that. Any further discussion? The uh, library board, that can we can appoint at any time when yep. people come up. think there'd be an issue with that. No. Any more discussion? Hearing none, Wayne? I'll vote aye. Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Marvin? Aye. Jean, aye. Yeah. Sure. Get me an updated sheet. Okay. Right, the state's attorney update. I've uh, we got an application. Do I dare say the name? What? Do, can I say the name? We got an application for for a state's attorney position. Uh, Holt is the last name. Jeff Holt, right? Jeffrey Holt, Stout, assistant state's attorney in Jamestown. I um. Uh, I've also contacted North Dakota. Thank you. North, North Dakota Association of Counties and been talking with them. And they will also assist us and um, do any research that we ask them to do. So I'm, I got them on this also. And um, as you know, our last uh, guy backed out. So we don't have any other applications. No, it's not, it's not until Friday. Friday. I yeah. suggest pulls her resignation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there a official way we can do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can continue to pay her. She just won't uh, show yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> I will not object. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll set that interview up after the meeting. Checks in the mail. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> For our special meeting on the 24th at 9, right? Okay. Any other discussion? Yes. I asked that to be put on the agenda, and <clears throat> I just wanted to update the board. Uh, after our meeting last week, uh, I sat down and visited with Jessica and Shanna and Jean, and I kind of, and this can be corrected, but I gave mm -hmm. you guys all a copy, it looks like this here, of what we thought could be some possibilities. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I'll let uh, Jessica update us on that. But before she does, <clears throat> on the back side, on the second page, I, I stapled a letter there. This is from UND. They were very interested in trying to find alumni or a licensed person to fill it out, but we would have to complete the required information. So, and send it to them before they would post it on their board. It's not a big thing, but, but they were very willing. So those are all possibilities. And we just discussed this, and I wanted the board to be aware of what we discussed. So I'll let uh, Jessica update us on if this is a practical plan or where we're at on that. I don't really have an update since we're pending applications. So um, it was discussed that we would revisit this next week at the special meeting to see what transpires in the interim. Um, some discussions going on and, and trying to come up with plans, but ultimately uh, we'll get us through what the week, week brings um, and then we can revisit it next week. Okay. Letting you guys know what we talked about, that's all. Yeah. Um, question, can we get this filled out and send it to UND? I wouldn't see why not. It's gone out. Um, the Supreme Court has a listserv, well they have their regular uh, website, and then they have a listserv of all um, attorneys licensed for North Dakota. That was sent out through there. Um, but certainly, I mean, it's not basically the information I guess it wouldn't, it definitely wouldn't hurt. Right. Mm -hmm. Fill it out and send it to them. And this is something you go to look for versus like the Supreme Court one that was automatically sent out. But if somebody was looking, they could go there and look. So it's more of a board, I guess. What do you call it? Mm -hmm. It's kind of, it's kind of like going to job service, I guess, to say, yeah. So, we're yeah. Lawyers, indeed. Should, I, I don't want to make an assumption, but Shannon, will you be sending this information to them? Well, probably. I'm the HR director. You're with me, please. Thank you. Yeah, we can get that done. All right. Okay. Any other questions or comments on our state's attorney? <laughs> All right. Done with that one. 941. 950, okay. Uh, you had a question on the budget process update? I have. No, just a very brief question. I had a, is there anything else that we need to know about? Are we still going to be interviewing all the department heads as a board? Or what's our plans there? I don't think so. When we had discussed it initially, when we talked about the budget calendar, um, they're turning in their budget request to me July 6th. There is a board meeting July 7th. I'll have everything compiled by July 7th and to each commissioner that day. So you have time to take it home and look through it. And if there's questions for department, then I would like you to call me and I'll schedule them on the July 27th agenda to come in and visit. Because okay. there's a, a lot of things that are just routine. You're probably not going to have questions on, but if there's they want to present in front of the board, I put that in their budget memo, but they can call, contact me too, and I'll put them on that agenda for the 27th. Okay. That's the way I'd like to see it. Oh, there, now I finally found it. Okay. Anything else on the budget process? jump right to the treasurer's report or do we have to wait till 950? She'll probably do portfolios. Oh, well, we can. Unless she's scheduled to come in at that time and she's available. She's here. Right there. She's oh. <laughs> There's two flags in between, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> One for each eye. <laughs> One for each eye. That's why I asked. I, she's in here, so. 
I apologize. Sorry. Sorry, Darby. Hey, go ahead. Give us Treasury report. <clears throat> we'll have to get smaller flags. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have a copy? I usually don't have a. It, oh, don't. No, I, that's that's fine. I'm just asking. This. <laughs> I usually get lost in paperwork here, and they all then I get pointed at them from Marvin and Shannon. And they say, "Well, it's right there." Well, if you just hand it to you at the appropriate time. That's <laughs> right. That's what I need. Must challenge people need that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Darby. Appreciate that. <clears throat> thank you. <laughs> I didn't see you back there. <laughs> and you're right, I don't know if you guys got copies of it, but you can on the board. Oh, I got an email. Okay. Got a text? First one is your balance sheet, which where is where this stuff comes from. And if you look at this sheet here, you will see that we are down five hundred and thirteen thousand dollars in receipts to payments. That's from January one through May. Correct. Okay. question would be was there anything that stood out outstanding that jumped out at us well, other than we got our homestead credit okay we seem to spend it <laughs> okay. don't know where it goes all the time but we seem to spend it but this is our we aren't we don't I mean we did get in quite a bit of money this because we got homestead credit and veterans credit my question to the board is does anybody have any suggestions or do you want to have some thoughts the next meeting that how we're going to recover the trend of expenses exceeding our receipts? You asked what jumps out. What jumps out to me is we're half a million dollars in the hole and we've received most of our revenue already. Well, I would need to see an actual um, report on, um, I'm trying to find it right now general one projected versus, versus actual right. how much money was in each account at the beginning of the year how much money was in the account to date at its gross point how much we spent out of that account how much was budgeted and then the percentage of um, the, of where we are within that uh, budgeted amount and then the percentage of the balance of the amount of the money that's in the account as per what was spent in the account. Exactly that would give us a good picture of where we are. Okay, but that you're talking account and your budgets and accounts, you don't actually ever have the amount of money budgeted in those accounts. Well, we must have an overall accounting, a budget account of some sort. I mean, we, we can't just fly by. Well, you're, you're ta if you're talking your budget versus this, this is the actual money. This is all the money you have. When you're budgeting, yeah, you're not you're not talking real dollars. But I mean, have, you don't have those real dollars. This is your real dollar and statement. Okay. Um, you can ask for all that. I don't. That's not my department. This is my department. Yeah, we actually have that. Mm -hmm. no. But okay. you actually don't have all those. Those dollars in your budget aren't 
aren't what's on here, aren't real money. But all of the accounts add up to her balance sheet every month. So that is what we have. But yes, yeah. you budget five million revenue and you budget five million expenditures. Your five million is gonna come in all oh, at one January. time. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be and it doesn't even come in equally every month. No. Equally mm -hmm. expenditures. So you're gonna have your ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have your ups and downs, but right now our expenditures are exceeding our revenues. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but if you go back the previous years, you're going to see that that trend doesn't change. Well, my front monthly financial statement, if you look at it, we're at 41% of the uh, general fund budget, and to date we should be at 42%. So we're actually under budget at this point of the budget. Of the budget, but how much revenue is still coming in? It will come in, though. It comes. It'll come in now towards the fall, and you get all of that money at the beginning of the year because it carries you through. Mm -hmm. But we've already spent it out, it's gone. I mean, we, we carry, you so get the money at the beginning. over every year too. And that's Pardon me? You figure, out, you figure out your carry over every year when you're doing the budget. Okay, I'll, ex I'll get this out, the information that Jean's looking for. It's in that okay. report, I don't think. Okay, <clears throat> any other questions? Okay, thank you, Darby. You're welcome. Uh, well, we can, we can, uh, we can recess. We can, we can do that. I was gonna say we can ask Ken to come up here and then he could stick around if general public comes in with anything at 10 o'clock and we can revisit it and then yeah, we can do that real quick, and then we can take a break. Anyone, well, say we need a break? We can recess, we'll recess for <laughs> Recess till time. That was a long thought process. Uh, well, I didn't have to post this arm. Yeah. We'll recess till 10. You're doing more. Mr. T. Mr. T? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been called a lot of things in my day of but I don't know if I've ever been called gentlemen. <laughs>
What's your caliber of choice, Liza? If I can. Pardon? If I could, I'd have a 40. Okay. Glock. And what do you have? A nine. A nine. Are they issued? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought. I have others, but. <laughs> My duty weapon is a nine. Yes. <laughs> Choose to carry your own? No. Okay. So you have to carry the nine? Yep. Okay. I was I did not know that they were issued. I thought I can off duty carry whatever I want as long as I qualify with it. But for on duty. I didn't Don't you listen to the news? Because it's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> She'll get thrown in jail if she shoots the radio. <laughs> and doesn't do much different for a guy who got hit. <laughs> yeah. Out, but still, it, it's still practice. it makes me super nervous if I ever see that. Like when we do, because I'm an armorer too, so we do the training of breaking the guns down and everything. It always makes me nervous when you see them just laying them down and it's like right pointed. <laughs> like, can you just just a little bit? <laughs> I realize there's nothing in there. You check it like five times. I don't care. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> it just struck me that my wife, because she doesn't basically doesn't touch a gun, and, and she noticed that night. Well, go tell them. <laughs> no. I said, well, yeah, they should. Mm -hmm. I don't have a 40. I do better. Ha, ha, ha. 
why they're going tonight. Because it's cheaper. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Gender. Uh, yes. Uh, I was going to say, if we're going to have a Arthas. state gun warrior down for uh, <laughs> team building, it's going to be on my system. Even the military. <laughs> I think the military has uh, gotten away with uh, 45 carry knives. Uh, yes. I don't think so many emails. Oh, they're, they're proven to pretty much have the same effectiveness as a 40, and, it's, oh, it's way less and the ammo is cheaper. And then, like you said, it, we've actually had to have some 43s at our lineup, too, that are smaller grips because we have even smaller hands. Wink, get in your chair. <laughs> okay, we're going to reconvene. <clears throat> Can you? Got the floor, road issues. going to include a report on our what's going on so far in the county well it's just a yeah some with that chip seal paperwork on Hayes and pay and then also the chip seal we got some updates on the information with that on our um, bids that we were asking for and the modifications yep. we we're asking for okay yep. this is the okay. chip seal <laughs> Tyler, if you have an extra copy, I would take one. I don't know if you do. For this that? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, no, it's no worries. Yeah. Usually I bring a pencil so I can scribble it. But Thanks, Charlie. Yeah. We're good. I think I've got just enough for a yeah. We're Sorry. fine. We're fine. We're a uh, no mistake board. You're right. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I got one of those big gray erasers too. Yeah. You noticed I couldn't keep a straight face on that. Yeah. out there to cut in the rumble strips at the stop at 1806. I have not gotten a schedule from them as of yet on permanent pavement markings, but I've been staying in touch with the contractor and I'm sure he'll update me on that. Um, so what I gave you was, right now this is an estimate on where the project costs are at. It's in the contractor's hands for review. Um, so I'm not going to ask for any approval of anything to today for payment, but it's just to give you a bit of a snapshot of where things are. The highlighted asphalt cement, that's the oil, 210.6 uh, ton. That's based off a of mixed design. What the actual oil content was in the field, I'm waiting on cutoff reports. But this is probably going to be a pretty close idea of what we're going to come in at on this project. But that does not include the change order. So the change order came into play. I was talking with Ken. Uh, we decided to pull the trigger and have him do it because down by the boat dock, there's some really bad soft spots. And we wanted to patch those before we did an overlay on them. Otherwise, it would have just been a Band-Aid and kind of would have reflected through probably after just a few years and mm -hmm. pretty soft. So we, I got a price from the contractor per ton. That's what you see there. It's 325 per ton because there's more handwork involved. Um, and the amount of tonnage that we used was just a hair of 25 times to get that patchwork completed. So if you 
include that, I guess, in the anticipated total, we're, you know, still roughly 15, yeah, 15,000 under budget on the project. So. so that's included in these numbers? And or this, it's not included in this number. Okay, so the you would 449, add, we'd have to add the 14.6. Correct. 14, six. Okay. correct. And I'm pretty confident that those numbers are going to be pretty darn close, you know, with where, where we end up on the job. So I just wanted to keep you guys in, in the loop on that um, and mm -hmm. see if you had any questions with that project so far or on the numbers or anything like that. Are they going to be using any of that aggregate base? No. No? Okay. There will not be center line rumble strips put in. Ken and I talked about that. I'm not a fan of them. Um, I understand the safety aspect of them, but uh, that's a that's a cold joint. That's a perfect spot for water to just seep uh, beneath your pavement mat over time. And it's a DOT thing. I get it, but still, it's if we don't have to put them on there, it's just not because I think your your pavement will last longer. That's Most of this is. Well, go ahead. Jim. That's always been a question of mine is yeah. why are we cutting divots into a road where water can sit in and freeze and bust our asphalt? Because that's what asphalt's biggest enemy is water, uh, freezing water. Yep. And uh, why why can't why can't you engineer a hump <laughs> instead of a divot? Well, <laughs> then there was talks. So there was talks with the way the paver the way the paver operates, trying to offset that joint, that cold joint over the crown, but that's almost impossible to do in the field because that's yeah. my point. All right. sure. So this is what the state's doing right now and they're really pushing us to do it at the county level. You know, that's some safety thing they want us to do, but I'm not a fan of it. So <laughs> I know Ken's not a fan of it either. But that's where, that, we decided against that on this little stretch of road here, so. And I guess I was just gonna say that it's pretty low speed yeah. there too, so. Right, the, yeah. The we'll have for, stops. Yeah. Strips, that 1806 intersection, but but yeah. Okay. Um, other than that, it went. It's gone really well. Um, no real complaints on that. The product turned out really good. We did have, we did have some, some funky concrete that we ran into underneath the old existing pavement down by the dock, but we were able to uh, transition over that pretty nicely. I think it turned out pretty good. So. I would just ask that maybe in the future if you have conversation with a contractor and they're doing work in that of that similar nature when they're in an intersection they had um, vehicles parked on all four sides of that intersection okay and it was like um, I came back with my empty truck and I had to have them back a vehicle up because I simply couldn't turn I'd have been in the ditch with my semi so if they would just oh. allow a little more room, yeah, they had trucks okay. on the south side. They had, they had the north side well blocked at the time, and then they had a truck. He was parked on the east side of that intersection. And of course, there's no shoulder, so he was halfway up and into the driving lane. So I actually had to go left, and then there was a vehicle over there, so I couldn't swing far to the to the west to the south. Going south, I yep. couldn't swing over exactly. there. So <laughs> then there was another vehicle coming from the south. Well, I waved at him. He backed up, sure. and then I was able to get in there. But they had it pretty well crowded. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and just to, you know, I, and I know you are in contact with the contractors yep. a lot. So yep. you kind of, if you enter any of that discussion, that and then sure. it was a, it was a cluster. <laughs> okay. No, that's good to know. Absolutely. I know that had nothing to do with money. <laughs> no, no, that's, but that's important. It's good to know. And I will have a conversation. I'll, I'll probably let Steve know too, just for to forewarn him or make him aware of that that his crew was doing that and making it a little difficult. Because Steve's a good guy, and he'd like to know that. Okay. Well, I know he would. So. Uh, moving on, though, I guess the other thing. Were there any questions with anything else? I guess on the Hayes and Bay change order or anything. Or, okay. So moving on to the chip seal project. Uh, as we decided at the last meeting, Aztec was the low bidder, apparent low bidder, and we awarded the base bid to them. Uh, we did reach out to them to discuss the alternate, and they have agreed to um, 
honor their bid uh, bid item um, dollar amounts for the alternate with just the reduction of Hazen Bay. And where this actually shakes out, if it's that bottom right corner, I know it's probably kind of hard to read in smaller numbers, but we, sh we shook out the numbers there. And it shaped, the numbers shown is 286, 946, 55. Now, keep in mind, there was an error in their bid. Remember, I brought this up at the last meeting where on the epoxy pavement four inch line, they have 53 cents per lineal foot. And their intention on that was to have it be 35 cents. However, we have to track it all at 53 cents per statute and we have to accept it as the way it was given to us. But we did verify with the contractor and we were getting from them in writing that they would honor that at 35 cents per foot. Because it was not their intention to bid it with 53. And there, our way our contract is written, mm -hmm. if there's a conflict, we don't accept the extended price, we accept the unit price. So we have, per statute, we'd have to do that. So we accepted 53 cents per foot, however they, are going to accept 35 cents per foot. Okay. So that'd be a change order if we accept it then, or? We have it documented as okay. part of, we're, our plan is to just pay them 35 cents per foot based on that documentation okay. agreement from the contractor. So that being said, that 286 number that you see there is actually inaccurate, it's right. high. So there's actually a difference of 12,000, uh, 12,000, $249.18. So the total cost actually ends up being with the base bid, including this alternate of County Road 26, 274, 697, and 37 cents. So I know our budget was 270,000. It would be my recommendation that we include that in this year's project, Mercer 26, but not Hazen Bay. For that amount of two seventy four six ninety seven and thirty seven cents. So when it, when are these? Which number here changes? The it'd be line item down on the bottom. The two seventy. Uh, what is that? Seven sixty two stack number one thirteen or code number one thirteen. So here, let me show it to you. Can you can you put it on the overhead? No, you can show it to us, but we can also put it on the overhead if you want to. all that's on there. Technical difficulties. Yeah, I was going to say, tell me when to look when they stop moving it. Okay, hey, there we go. So, <laughs> okay, there you go. That number is actually instead of being thirty-six thousand sixty-seven dollars and three cents, it's actually twenty-three thousand eight seventeen. Oh, yeah, there we go. A difference of twelve thousand two forty-nine eighteen. Yeah. So your bottom line down there. Well, let's go back to the Aztec bid. I'm confused there. It's not hard to do to confuse <laughs> me, to, to confuse me here. So, sure. you have a total alternate bid there of 270. How does that relate to the 274? Go back. To, you got to slide it to the Aztec bid. It's on the bottom. Are they to, two totally separate? So the total alternate bid that included Mercer 26 and Hazen Bay. Yep. So this far right box on the bottom right corner where I was showing you before, that's the alternate bid minus Hazen Bay. So we took the quantities for Hazen Bay's chip seal out of the job. It says on that last column price without Hazen Bay. Yep. Yeah. You can see that on the far mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yes, there we go. That's what I was So, so <laughs> you're correct. I explained that in a, a poor way. So the 185 is technically the new alternate number. 
But I, the, I focus on the bottom line that includes the base and the bulk. So how does that 274,697 relate to the total bid of 372,475? It takes out Hazen Bay, right? Yes. It takes out Hazen Bay. Okay. The what, the 274 takes out Hazen Bay? So we can, yeah. that 372.475 is actually 274.697? That is correct. Without Hayes and Bay. Yep. Correct. That is correct. Okay. And one more time. Which, which, county, which county roads were? 25 is a gravel road. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> First time wow, that's a deal. Wow, finally. That's, wow. <laughs> that's good. We have to go back to San Gold and Vette. So, on top of this, on top of this sheet, I can cross off and Hazen Bay. Yep. Yep. And down here where it says 372, I can put 274, 697. Yes. All right. Thank you. I got rid of all the middle stuff and just got down to the, <laughs> the description and the cost. Thank you. Yep. For your patience. But you're still waiting on some information. No. no. What I'm waiting, what I actually would need would be approval from the commission to okay. accept the alternate as presented today. Okay. Okay. I'll move to approve the alternate um, as presented. Yes. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Discussion? So what happened to my 25 road? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You don't get it, Wayne. <laughs> it's gravel. It stays, it stays, it stays gravel. gravel like usual, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh. Just check it. <laughs> Any other discussion? <laughs> So as I said, the budget before was 270 on that on this particular project. So that puts us in the ballpark, and I'm very confident that you know our fees are probably going to be coming underneath where we're at. So I I think we have a really strong shot at coming in under budget on this project as well. Good. Great. Very good. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none. I have to write it. Travis. Aye. Liza. Aye. Wayne? I'll vote aye. Marvin? Aye. Gene will vote aye. Okay, next item. All right, Mr. Travis. Um, I, I tried to touch base with Ken. We had some text messages back and forth, but I had a uh, county resident asking um, our process on uh, uh, road permits. Uh, sounds like um, hay producers in Grand Forks County are going to provide hay to um, interested uh, ranchers in Mercer County. Um, they're going to be bringing the hay probably starting July 1. Um, and I wasn't too familiar with how our our road permitting goes, but um, and this was their side of the story. They said in 2017 when they did something similar, they got stopped several times. So I don't know what the process is, how we handle that, but um, it sounds like there'll be hay coming into the county from outside the county. Um, and I'm assuming once they're on state highways, there's not a need for a permit, but it's when they get on our county roads. Right, because most of them are at 80,000. Right. Mm -hmm. If you get that egg permit, you can go up to 90,000. That's $100 per year. And then after that, then they'd have to do a single trip permit for over that. You know, if they were to get the egg permit, then they over 90,000, and they'd have to get a single trip permit. Okay, and is that for the producer, or is that for any type of different truck? So, like in this situation, they're contract hauling and they're basically just charging them fuel to get it from Grand Forks to here. But so I don't know if they'll have a listed. I don't remember how we did that in 17. I remember that was down on County 11. Well, the, that whole process got a little bit, um, <clears throat> there, if I recall, that 
This guy, he also was making hay himself, and then he was selling it off the yard, and they were coming into the yard to load up, and so it got to be a gray line is, is he a commercial guy doing this, which he kind of was, and then he tries to follow, fall under the farm uh, umbrella. Well, it don't work that way. You, you either are one or the other, and I think that's probably the direction that whatever question you got was was heading. And uh, like Ken said, if it's for the, you know, for the farm people, uh, 80 is the standard. Do you pay for your 90 permit uh, or get a, ni uh, a 90,000 permit? And uh, it's kind of a done deal. If you go heavier than that, well then. Uh, we're not exempt, you know. So, do they get Je that heavy with hay? Jessica, do you? Re yeah. Do they get that heavy with hay? Well, it depends what you know. Sometimes they do. I, you know, I don't know. You take some like thirty some bales, and then plus a tractor, trailer. So, most of it's under ninety, but yeah, some of them are pretty big loads. I mean, it seems to me the big issue relates back to enforcement to that. And so even if there is the egg permit, the drivers need to have that. On the windshield. Right. Yeah. And so it'll cover egg business, even where it's these other semis and whatnot, but they'll need to make sure that they've got copies of that so it relates back. So that would be every driver would have to get a permit or the producer could get one? No. no so it's every driver. Or is it the driver? You have to think of it from an enforcement standpoint when the cop stops on you, you're supposed to have your permit. And so you can say, yeah, I'm covered under that, but no, you're not, you're not in compliance if you don't have that with. So if you are the farmer, you get one permit to total copy it for your 15 drivers, and that one permit to handle it covers the, yep, it covers the whole egg operation, but your operation needs to have that permit. Okay, one more question on clarification. You should, is it the driver or the truck? Because when we get our state overloads, it's the truck. Okay. Yeah. Truck. So if you have an ag producer and he has 15 trucks, he needs 15 mm -hmm. permits. Yes. Right. Yes. Six. One permit and then one per copy goes in each. each. Yes. Each. That's so the way this. It's a matter of passing them down to the <coughs> ground work so they have Each it. truck pays a $100 permit. No. 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 The, the no. producer does. The and producer then, But they can do it on any truck that's coming for that producer. Okay. For that producer, right. Okay. They just have to have it with them. Is it? Yeah. And, oh, so and I think that's what the issue was in 17 is that somebody didn't have it and then they got stopped. Right, it got to be a big issue because, right. well, yeah, I paid yeah, my hundred bucks that, and I'm covered, I mean, except, yeah, the cops aren't seeing you're stopping, don't know that. Right. So that's okay. where the glitch, I think, was. So for, for the producer, he get pays a hundred dollars and he can get one permit or ten permits for so that hundred. One and you copy it. Okay, so I could, he can put it in five trucks if he has them. Right. For that one hundred dollar fee, right. right? Or that eighty to ninety. Okay. <clears throat> or that eighty to ninety. Right. right. If you're over ninety, then you'll still have to then, go back and get it. Then you got to get enough. But you get that grace period or wait to eighty to ninety there. Okay. I think that answers my questions, and I'll so get back we to took the took a producer. lot of time adopting that um, full schedule. There was a lot of discussion about that because we didn't want to make it a hindrance to egg, obviously. We didn't feel $100 was that big a deal in part because it would cover everything, but this would then allow us to track it for enforcement and everything. So there was a lot. I don't remember. Was it just me and you here then? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, it would have been. Yeah, yeah. So basically that permit is for the year? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Calendar year. Their for calendar, calendar year, so. Year. Basically, they could use it for hay, they could use it for grain, they could grain, use it for right. whatever, exactly. so they could use it through harvest right. season. Cross they... laws apply, though, regardless. Right. So it doesn't exempt from that. Yeah. 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 That answers my questions. It answered some of mine okay. <laughs> that I didn't even have before this. Don't worry, don't ask. Oh, geez. Going to make it out the door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions about our roads okay thank you good. good thank you thank you I guess we can
do a couple portfolio updates here. Um, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> well, well the right paper. Yeah. It's in your paper. I haven't. I we haven't had any meetings, so my uh, and the policy committee is going to meet today. Okay. So that's pretty much all I have. Marvin. Two things. On a, I did not meet with my road department this week, uh, so I don't have nothing with my portfolio. But I asked two questions, and I'll, these have to do when Liza gives her portfolio. Did you have the Sheriff and the auditor, right? No, I don't have the sheriff. I have the I have auditor. The you have the sheriff? Then I'll ask Gene. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't have an answer. Okay. <laughs> I'll make something up. <laughs> I noticed that he had an ad for a couple of <clears throat> replacement people, staff, in the staff paper. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to him about it. Okay. There's, he. Did somebody leave, or what's the question? Mm -hmm. Are we adding? They may need some additional personnel due to maybe help, I think I can say. I'll ask them and I'll find out what I can bring to the board. I'll ask them and I'll, I'll find out for you. Thank you. You guys have been short for a while. Yeah. Well, there's also some that would answer the question, things going on. Get me the information. Just see that the ad in the paper, and someone calls us. Oh, what's going on? I go. Gene will update me, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Okay, Travis. Um, Water Resource Board is meeting this afternoon, and uh, Library Board will meet um, on the 28th. So I'll have something to report, uh, probably in July. Okay, Liza. <clears throat> Ambulance board doesn't meet until the end of the month, and then I'm not sure what Gene's question is about the auditor. <laughs> it's my question. Marv's yeah. question. He's a Gene. Oh, sorry. Marvin's question. <laughs> the only question I have is I just want to get a personnel update. Uh, do we have two new people, one new person, part time, hours? No. Can you help me out there a little bit? Yeah, as I said at the last meeting, um, she did hire a new employee mm -hmm. because one left and took a different position. Great. And so then she didn't need to have the temp employee. So the new employee is full time. Correct. correct? Yep. Okay. So we're not using the temp at this time. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else, Liza? No. Okay. Um, Wayne? I was going to call you the wrong name. Wayne? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh. Was. Yeah. We we board they ch changed their schedule. Uh, they have their meeting tonight, and uh, planning and zoning will be Thursday night. I got social service tomorrow, and uh, I had uh, yeah the airport meeting. Um, there's really nothing much going on. Uh, of course, uh, as I mentioned, that they they will be doing that rehab of the runway and I'm not quite sure when we're shutting that down on the date but whoever's got the hangar rent and stuff they they will be informed you know to to the date so Thank you. That's good to know. That's, all. That's, That's it. it? Yep. Okay. We're down to 1030 on your uh, Coyote Creek Mining Company public hearing to close section lines. <laughs> Are we allowed to open it up two minutes early or a minute early? If I sit here and I ramble on for the next 30 sec 15 seconds, we'll get to one minute early. <laughs> we'll have to close it and then open it and then just oh, yeah. give it a minute. Okay. So we should be here at 10.30. So. I'll move to close the regular meeting, Gene. 
I'll move to close the regular meeting at this time. Do I have a second? I'll second. Uh, any discussion on that? Some of these, I don't know if there's even, if it's there, there is discussion. Uh, Travis? Aye. Vote? Liza? Aye. Wayne? I'll vote aye. Marvin? Aye. Gene, aye. Watch the seconds click away when it's 10.30, <laughs> you're on. <laughs> or we're on. I don't think I said it either. I wasn't sure if I had to do a separate motion. <laughs> well, that could be interesting. Not what I said, but I there we go. Okay. <laughs> what I meant, not what I said. I won't. Just like a regular meeting, I called uh, this hearing. Yep. Okay, our public hearing to close section lines. Okay. Morning. My name is Jerry Eckroth, environmental manager out of Coyote Creek Mine, and we're here for the public hearing to close the section lines. Um, we're looking at closing the east-west section line road between the west half of the southeast quarter of section six, township 142 north range 88 west and the west half of the northeast quarter of section seven, township 142 north range 88 west. And they're, they're shown on here in the red are the section line trails or section lines that we're looking at closing. So the east-west, which was sure the, that is? You want to point them out, Tyler? So the east-west section line between the west half of the southeast quarter of section six and the west half of the northeast quarter of section seven. And then the east-west section line road between the southwest quarter of section six, township 142 north, range 88 west, and the northwest quarter of section seven, township 142 north, range 88 west and the north-south section line road between the southwest quarter of section six, township 142 north, range 88 west, and the southeast quarter of section one, township 142 north, range 89 west, and the north-south section line road between the north half of the northwest quarter of section seven, township 142 north, range 88 west, and the north half of the northeast quarter of section 12, township 142 north, range 89 west. And we did, we visited a few weeks ago on this. There isn't any roads, and you can see the creek is on this side. There is a, a trail, this is the state section, this north half. There's a trail that kind of winds through here, but that's not even on the section line. It's pretty steep country, so the, the road There's no public accessing it. The majority of it, Mr. Casey Boyd's farm sits up there. The majority of it, he rents it once the carrier starts to. You, pre are. you presented this at the last meeting. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. This yes. is our second. Or, or a couple. Yeah, it was a couple, yeah, a couple of of last mm -hmm. month, yeah. 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 And there was no opposition at that time. No. Well, Casey was in favor of it. Yeah. Right. There was no opposition. <laughs> yeah. I hope they didn't know to oppose yet. So today would be the time. Right. Today is yes, today. And I don't yeah. see anyone in the. So I don't even have to call on anyone. Okay. No, we did meet with Mr. Boyd on a. Yep. We were out in the field with him yesterday looking at other stuff. And he had informed us he wasn't going to come today because he didn't have any issues. Sure. Well, do I have a motion to. Allow Coyote Creek Mining Company to uh, close these section lines as presented. So moved, Mr. Chairman. For to, to, to approve this? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. okay. Then, okay. Okay, well, thank you. Sorry. Keep me in line. Okay. I'll then do I have to, a motion to close the public? Then I'll make a motion to close the, uh, close the open hearing. Regular session. Yes. I have a second. second. Okay, Liza. Wayne, how you vote? I'll vote aye. Liza? Aye. Travis? Aye. Marvin? Aye. Jean? Aye. Okay, now I can ask for a motion <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> to approve 
the closing of the section lines by Cow Creek as presented. I move, so move. Okay. I thought, Wayne, I thought Wayne was going to do it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, is Sir. Wayne going to second it? I'll second that. Okay. <laughs> Any further discussion? Well, as uh, just for the board, uh, and you guys pretty well know this, uh, yeah, that, that that territory out there is basically pasture land. There's uh, the only one that it would be Casey going across once in a while, so there's really nothing much there than that, so, and, yeah. And they've met with Casey, so. Right, yeah. Well, and just remember, this is different because it's the coal operation, so it's the temporary versing versus an all-out closure, so. Right. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Marvin? Aye. Wayne? Aye. Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Jean, aye. I, I believe so, yeah. yeah. This goes down the line. Tell Dave that's all he gets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As soon as everyone's got that signed, we'll be done. Thank you, yeah. You got it, you got it. Get it approved. Okay. Meeting adjourned.